Welcome to Indiana Diecast Racing in the continuing quarterfinal action of the IDR Open. Today we're following Group 2, and it's another corral of heavy hitters. In the red Ferrari F50, Harper Hamilton is coming off a perfect second round after finishing second to the now-eliminated Testarossa of Mayfield 41. Jenny Vinny continues to try to prove that she belongs with the best drivers in her blue Porsche 911 GT3 RS, having won both of her groups so far. Jason Elliott follows Jenny into this round, taking a close second to Jenny after dominating his group in round one. Finally, Dax Quaid limps into the quarterfinals after getting mauled by Harper in round two. In round one, Dax scored a perfect 16, so we'll have to see which version of him is the real one. It's an all-female front row for lap one. Jenny flops out front and Dax is sideways. Harper is nipping at Jenny's heels in the triangle. It's going to be close, but Jenny holds on to win lap one. Looks like Jason and Dax have come to a stop in the final straight, but both will score points. It almost looked like the back end of Jenny's Porsche exploded, propelling her in front of Harper. Jenny and Harper will swap spots on the front row for lap two. Jenny takes the lead and Jason is fighting Harper for second. Jenny distances herself from the field. Jenny wins easily and there's a big collision at the finish line. It looks like Jason appeared to take second and Dax will get third since he actually crossed the finish line. Harper is set to take third, gets pinched by Jason in the wall and somehow Dax is able to squeeze past. Wow, Dax is really lucky he wasn't launched off the track, and I think Harper is thanking the seatbelt manufacturer. Jenny builds a commanding three-point lead over Jason, and both Harper and Dax could quickly lose control of this race without a strong finish on lap three. Jason joins Jenny up front. Jenny with a great start, and what just happened? Dax leads the Ferraris to the triangle, and I think Jenny is off the track. Dax wins going backwards and Harper will take second place. Jenny appears to be wedged between the track and the safety barrier. I'm just not sure how she got there. Coming out of turn one, she hooks a wheel on the wall and her momentum carries her right over. Dax also catches some air and spins, but it seems to work out for him as he gets to show off his backwards driving. Following Jenny's wreck, her lead is shrunk to a single point over everyone else in the group. This is the closest any group has ever been going into the final lap. Dax takes the pole for lap four. They're close together and Jenny's on her side. Dax leads the Ferraris through the triangle. He bounces a little, but it will be Dax, Harper, and Jason at the finish. Jenny's off the track in turn two, and that will likely be the end of her tournament. They all seem to hit that turn one exit bump but Jenny becomes the sole victim. The silver lining is that she sets the track record for longest one-sided slide. Dax Quaid will drive from worst to first, winning both of the final two laps to win group two. Harper Hamilton and her F50 will follow Dax into the semis on the back of three solid finishes, just enough to put her ahead of Jason and Jenny. Amazingly, after winning the first two laps, Jenny puts up a double donut and finishes with the fewest points in the group. Dax and Harper will advance to face the vaunted F40 of Maria Hardin and the Aston Martin of Kevin Fairbair. This has been Jim D. for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to catch us next time for Group 3 of the IDR quarterfinals with the GT40 of Thena, El Diablo's Gallardo, Nathan's Caddy, and the Honda Civic of Vanessa.